Hey guys, let's take a look at some geometry this week. And we're gonna talk about points, lines, rays, and line segments. Um, a point is based on one of those things in geometry that you can't really define. We can make an approximation of it, but a point in, for real in geometry really has no, uh, you know, has no size. It just re represents this exact point in space. Uh, you know, we name them things like, you know, point A or something like that. Uh, a line basically is two points connected somehow, and then they go off in infinite directions like this. So you'll see a line like this, it might be A, B, and they'll name this thing, you know, A, B, and then they'll call it this, put this on top to show you that it's a line that goes off, off in infinite directions. Now you can also name this B, A, you know, starting here and going here, doesn't matter. Uh, a, let's see, a ray would be something like this. It goes this way. I mean, you might name it like this, and let's say there's a point here, and then let's say it's X, Y. Well, in this case, you would want to name it X, Y because it's going infinitely in the Y direction, so you'll see something like this sometimes, like X, Y. Okay. A line segment is, like if you were to say line segment X, Y, you'd put it like this, and the difference between this and this is that this has an actual length and it stops between, you know, including x, point x and point y, it stops right there. Of course, you could also name this if you wanted to, line segment y, x, and so on, so that's fine, all right? Uh, let's say, for example, in this figure, a, b, line segment, I'll say line segment, a, b is 3, and a, c is 7, find b, c. Well, of course, if a, c is 7, and AB is 3, then BC has to be 4. And there'll be a little examples like that that you saw in your book. Okay. Angles. You should know some things about angles. Make sure you know the names of these. The angle A is a right angle. This is 90 degrees. Angle B is called an acute angle. It's less than 90. Angle C uh, sometimes is called a straight angle because it's basically, you know, a line, really. And since it is the value or the uh, measurement of two right angles, it is 180 degrees and an acute is less than 90 degrees. This angle D is called an obtuse, ang obtuse angle because it is greater than 90 degrees, but not quite a straight angle. All right, we're going to use um, figures in finding perimeter. Perimeter means basically the distance around something. So they will give you something like this and say, find the perimeter of this figure. And all you need to do is just basically add up all the numbers that go all around the entire figure. And I'm not going to bother to do that now. But look at something like this. This is a little different. Now you notice we've got some things missing, right? What's missing? There are two things missing. Okay, one of them, yeah, from, is from here to here. We're missing that. And we're also missing from here to here. Now this one is pretty simple, straightforward, because since this is six from here to here, <coughs> we're assuming all these angles are uh, right angles and everything's parallel to each other. So this will also be a length of six. Now this one isn't quite so easy from here to here, but we can figure out that the entire length of this bottom is 14, this part is four, this part is two, so those two equal six together. So from here to here must be eight. So that's what you're going to put for this length right there. We won't bother to add those all up right now, but that's how you figure out the perimeter of that figure. Okay. All right. Take a look at the practice problems on pages 37 and 38 and give those a whirl. You can do one at a time or, you know, all of them at once. And so pause it and try it and let's come together in a second. Okay. Uh, problem A, we can name a line would be just line AB with a little line symbol on the top, or you could do BA. Two rays, you could have uh, ray AB, it starts at A and ends at B, well, it doesn't end at B, it keeps going forever. Then you could say BA, that would look like this, of course, BA, and it just keeps going forever in the distance of the B, and then, of course, the other way as well, okay? Um, a segment would just be segment BA or AB. Okay, pause it and try B. Okay, well, if uh, XY is 12.3 uh, 12 inches and XZ is 20.1 inches, 
then YZ has to be 20.1 minus 12.3. So that is going to be 7.8 inches. Okay. All right, try C, pause it and try C. Okay, you should have drawn uh, an acute angle, which is less than 90, an obtuse angle, which is greater than 90, like this. A right angle is like this, and a straight angle is just a straight line. All right, pause it and try D. Okay, in the figure, we have something like this, and it looks roughly like this, although really rough, because this is a pathetic drawing. All right, the top is 8, this is 14, this is 15, and this is 4. Of course, if you notice, we are missing this side right here, and we're also missing this length right there. Okay, so let's just go ahead and add the ones at least we know. We got 4, we got 8, we got 15, and we have 14. Okay, so we need to figure out what this is here. Well, this will just be the 15 here and the 8 here. So 15 plus 8 is 23, so that'll be the bottom. This part here is, is a little trickier, although it's doable. This part is 4. The entire part here is 14, which means this part right here has to be 14 minus 4. So 10 is the uh, total on that side there. So 10 plus 23, 33, 47, 62, 70, and 74 is your perimeter. Okay, that's it. All right, you guys have a great time doing today's problems. I know you will. See you next time.